Welcome to our tour of the Dallas Museum of Art. From Chicago, we're used to the Art Institute and thought we would give this a try. It wasn't disappointing. It's a little different from Chicago, but still a lot of fun. Our first stop was the Islamic art section. It was fun. There were a lot of examples of artistic Korans, even a pocket version, and lots of ornate drinking wear, which all featured a part of biblical stories. Throughout all the connecting hallways, there's beautiful examples of art, including this marble statue. It's awe-inspiring. I don't understand all art. I don't even understand most art. This is a lowrider exhibit that's a part of modern history, I guess. Go along with that theme, here's some local artists and their artwork. Since Texas is so young, most of it's modern art. And now, since this isn't my type of art, it's time to leave and go check out the rest of the museum. Welcome to the Slip Zone, a post-war art exhibit. Since this is a post-war exhibit, it was very nightmarish, dark and disturbing, and twisted imagery everywhere. Since this was modern art, you could form your own interpretation of what everything was. The imagery was very personal. You could see in all these paintings a depth that was built with the medium that they were using. Layers of paint and different objects layered on top of objects. It was kind of interesting. And you could form your own decision of what each one meant and felt to you. And here's a stone on some glass that shattered. I couldn't help but think that the Joker would have loved this section. Being an illusionist, I love this mirror it created a 3D illusion while you were walking by it. And that just about wraps up the post-war exhibits. I'm a fan of history, so I love the next exhibits. They were all Greek and Roman art. All of this artwork dated from the BC era and was just awe-inspiring that it still exists today. Detail from this ancient art was just awe-inspiring. It looks so realistic. Next up was my second favorite, the European exhibit, which featured a lot of religious art. Artists seem to like a deep, dark, emotional angle to their artwork. I just like to see some amazing drawings. And to tickle your emotions even more, here's a scene of some seasickness and some people leaving a deserting ship. And because I'm partially Chinese, I love this, the art of Asia. Just kidding, we have to go through Egypt first, I guess. And yes, they have mummies. You can even see the foot of one here. And now I'm just guessing, but I guess Africa and Indonesia are on your way to Asia. And then we finally make it to Asia and Japan. Check out some of this beautiful art. And then we wind up in Europe again, just before we have to leave. What a fun afternoon this was.